Hey everybody, long time no speak. So I am here to give you a quick update with regards to my condition. And the reason I put out these videos is I hope that perhaps if any of you, heaven forbid, should get my situation, my condition should occur to you rather, long COVID or long COVID-like symptoms, you have at least some sort of roadmap based on my personal experience. Again, it's my personal experience. I don't know all the details about you, but hopefully this will give you some insight. All right, just a quick recap. Several months ago, I get back from a long trip. Uh, I put on a bunch of weight from eating too much uh, Texas barbecue and key lime pie in Florida. And uh, while well, I was in Texas eating the barbecue and I was in Florida eating the key lime pie, that couple with a bunch of IPAs, I put on like 15 pounds, something like that. So I said, I'm going to go on a fast. I go on a serious fast. I lose 20 pounds in 30 days, which is excessive. It was pretty easy for me having practiced fasting for quite a bit, but my fasting skills are still lacking, evidently. Anyhow, so I found myself feeling very weak. Uh, then I started getting some extended symptoms, et cetera, et cetera. I thought, mm, maybe I had long COVID. I go get some blood tests, everything negative, which is good. Then I um, find myself on the social media long COVID sites where I start taking all kinds of supplements, restricting my diet, this kind of stuff. Uh, the symptoms seem to be getting pretty bad at this point, heart palpitations, neuropathy in the hands and feet, dizziness, and all kinds of good stuff like that. Classic long COVID symptoms. So then I... Uh, realized one day I just decided to go bike riding even though I was dizzy as hell and had tingling and numbness in my hands and my feet and heart palpitations. I go biking up the mountain and I realized all my symptoms disappeared and they disappeared throughout the entire time I'm biking. As soon as I come back home, I sit down on my desk, boom, my symptoms return. And my lizard wizard training taught me that, wait a second, this is not physiological, this is something with the head. Now, not psychological, but neurological. Anything. Anyway, so what I since discovered, and I believe is the case, is that uh, something hit me, and it could be a whole bunch of different things depending on the individual, but basically my neurological uh, gear system got stuck into the fight or flight sympathetic uh, setting, and that causes all these symptoms. This is known, this is out there, you can go look it up on the web, there's all kinds of resources. So the trick is, is to retrain your neurological systems to basically tell your primitive lizard and monkey brain that hey everything's cool you don't we're not in fight or flight here fight or flight if you don't know is the uh, is the state of being your neurology sets into if it feels that you're under immediate threat so when you are in fight or flight heart palpitations could be dizziness uh, all kinds of stuff nasty feeling this is supposed to only lasts a, a short period of time. Unfortunately, for people like myself, it gets caught in that gear. And that's what long COVID, I think, is for a lot of people. That said, again, I'm not your doctor. You got to go get all your blood tests work and all this done, all your blood tests done, rather, to make sure it's not something uh, that they can see. If they can't see anything, it might be neurological. Anyhow, so I realized that with the, uh, the biking and the meditation and so forth. So I started studying this more closely in terms of how I can reset my neurological gears back into the green track, the relaxed track. I found uh, some good resources there, which I've talked about in previous videos. And when I went down that track of looking at this as a neurological issue rather than a physiological issue, my symptoms have thus since diminished 95%. 97%. It's still incrementally getting better. I was like 95% a month ago. Now I'm 96%, 97%. I may be like 97% now. So the road has really been slow uh, since that big initial gain I had when I realized that this was neurological and I took the appropriate steps. Appropriate steps are um, focus control, focus on the positive, um, doing mindfulness uh, meditations. Uh, for me, exercise is a very good thing. Uh, again, you can look all that up. So here I am now today in uh, November. 
I'm about ready to go on a trip to the West Coast, and uh, part of the reason I want to go on a West Coast trip is because I don't want to go. And that's one of the reasons you do things. You do things that you don't want to do because it challenges your psychology. Anyway, I'm going there for a bunch of reasons, in all honesty. I might end up in Japan, but um, I'm not 100%, that's for sure. I'm feeling much better, but I still have bouts of dizziness. As I'm feeling it now, but it's very light. It's like the level of dizziness is down like 95%. So that's cool. And I think that if I continue to work towards, uh, under the premise rather of this being a neurological issue to resolve as, rather than a physiological issue, uh, I'll be much better off. If you watch my very previous videos, you know that I tried all kinds of I did supplements and diets, special diets and fasting. I even did hyperbaric chamber treatment, all kinds of stuff. The neurological uh, theme or thesis uh, has been most useful to me at this point. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to keep you up to date with regard to the situation. Again, I present this as, uh, as a guidebook, if you will, to give people some insight into what it is I discovered. It may or may not apply to you, but again, if you take all your tests and the doctor's can't see anything, then it might likely be neurological. Something to consider. I hope that's useful. We'll talk soon. Bye.